Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily. This is my husband, Matt. And behind us is our 2022 Timberleaf Pika teardrop trailer. And in this video, we are just gonna do a trailer walk around and give you guys a tour. Let's do it. So Timberleaf has three options for trailers. We uh, chose the middle, which is the Pika. It's the perfect size for us. Uh, plenty of space inside, has the galley in the back. And uh, the base model starts at 1,025 pounds. So it's the perfect weight for the two-door Jeep to pull. And with the Pika, we decided to go with the off-road suspension. And this option just costs a little bit more, but uh, it does add the rock sliders, which are great just for picking it up, moving it around. And then also the 31 inch BFG all terrains, and it has a four inch lift on the timber and suspension. And plenty of ground clearance. We've off roaded it, as you can see today. And uh, we've also gone over the rocks in Moab, no issues at all. On top of all that, it does also have trailer brakes. We don't have them hooked up right now we may add a controller at some point to use those but another great thing to know about the suspension and brakes driveline axle so being out deep in the woods quite often it's a little harder to make sure everything's level so the trailer does have three jack points there's two in the rear and of course on the tongue but these jacks are actually strong enough to completely lift the trailer off the ground so it's really easy to get everything level and we just bring a little portable level with us just to make sure. One thing to note with the off-road package is you do have to remove the jacks completely. On other models, you can just swing them up. So we just store these in our front storage box. And reason being, they have these amazing fenders with steps now. This is so great to easily access the roof. And you can actually stand on this. <laughs> A couple uh, other add-ons we're really excited about are the Propex heater, which uh, you plug your propane in right here. And the heater is actually located underneath the trailer in the back. Works off a thermostat inside. And we also have a solar setup. So we just plug our panel right into the side of the trailer to charge the battery on a beautiful day like this. And then our other outlet here is our shore power we do have the same front jack up here on the tongue we will add a wheel on this side found a really great eight inch wheel on amazon just around a hundred dollars and it just makes it even easier to move this thing around i guess if we had any recommendations for timberleaf it'd just be to add a wheel to begin with so another additional add-on is the tongue storage box uh, this thing's amazing. Just do it if you're gonna get one. It's uh, great for storing our 20 pound propane tank. They do offer a five pound tank that they'll mount to the side. Uh, looking back, I think we're, we're gonna eventually regret that decision because it's really convenient for the heater. But we like the 20 pound tank to use with our fire pit as well. So we just wanna make sure we always have plenty of propane available. And uh, we also store our jack tools, our camp stove in here, uh, chalks in case we need them. And uh, yeah, watertight. The other amazing thing about this box is you can stand on it as well. I believe it'll hold up to 500 pounds. Another great add-on is the roof rack. We. Uh, use it every trip mainly to store our canopy but we've also uh, taken a trip to a ski resort and had our skis up here there's uh, a million different things you can set up on here and mount to this and it will actually hold uh, up to 500 pounds so great option and they do also have awnings that you can get uh, when you order your trailer a couple different options one for the back and also for the sides another uh great thing about these trailers is they come with a max coupler articulating hitch. I'm never going back to a ball hitch. Again, these things are amazing. 
They're really easy just to set the trailer down in that cradle, get it pinned up. And the beauty of this, especially with how much off-roading we do, this will articulate um, up, down, around, sideways. So you don't have to worry about your trailer hopping off a ball. Also for the trailer wiring, it comes with a seven pin setup. Uh, this is great mainly because you'll be charging your battery while you're driving. And uh, we generally don't stay in the same place too often. So being able to just plug it in, hit the road, get to camp and have a full battery every night, is amazing. So this is the galley of the trailer. Um, we love this for all of the counter space. Um, for our needs, it's not that important for us to have a sink. There is a Timberleaf model that does come with a sink. So that is an option, just not with the Pica. Plenty of storage. We've got some containers in here just with everything that we need. We obviously can store items up top here. All the power that you really would ever need if you're on shore power, just regular outlets there. 12 volt USB, uh, and then it does have overhead lighting as well. A little bit more storage underneath here. We usually keep our water, collapsible sink, and then you access the battery right through here too. One thing that we did add with the trailer was this drawer slide out. Obviously we have our powered Dometic here. You could just put a cooler in here. If you didn't get the slide, it's just an open area for you to put the cooler. Uh, but we love this, would highly recommend getting this option uh, if you're looking at Timberleaf. Another thing we recommend that we got on this trailer is the rear hitch. You can't actually attach another teardrop but this is great for any kind of storage rack, bike rack. Uh, we're mainly going to use it to haul extra firewood if we need to, or an extra camping bin. This can hold up to 150 pounds is what they recommend. So uh, yeah, mainly for storage. And last piece on the exterior, light. One thing you always have to worry about in a trailer, of course, is condensation, especially up here in the Northwest. We like to camp in the winter quite a bit as well. There's lots of ventilation in here. You have two, win two smaller windows in the rear, two windows on the door, <laughs> and you also have a Max Air Fan, which is one of the most amazing inventions for camper trailers ever. We typically open it up, run it on 10% at night with a couple windows cracked, no moisture at all, and just keeps fresh air running through the camper. You can hardly hear it on 10% as well. So on the interior, we have our Propex thermostat up top here to control temperature and shore power outlet and some usb ports and down below is your fuse panel access extra air vents and down in the end here where our feet will be is the heater intake and also the heater vent up above we have our mesh storage which is great for just the necessities we need overnight additional light privacy curtains Bed. When it comes to sleeping, this thing is so comfortable. I sleep better in here than I do at home. Has a full-size mattress, just like you would have at your house. Very comfortable. So an add-on for the windows and for added privacy, they offer these curtains. Um, I think it's an extra option because some people like to make their own or use their own, but these work great. Uh, really good at blocking out the light as well during the day. As far as the feel in here, it's cozy, lots of light. As you can see, it has a sunroof, which you can open up or shut down. We hardly ever shut it. It's always open. I feel like looking at the stars at night. So we have two lights in the front. There's a nice dim red light 
and also a brighter white light and a great spot to charge your phone. Also a great spot to hang your headlamp. We really love our Timberleaf teardrop trailer. The size, the quality, and the design are perfect for us. However, there are a ton of great companies and different styles out there. Take your time with your research and find what fits you best. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section or message us on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more outdoors, camping, and travel content. A Max Air Fan, which is one of the most amazing inventions for camper trailers ever.